Hey everybody, it's Cheryl and welcome back to Technique of the Week. It's week 30 and this week we're going to be talking about discharge paste. And this wonderful product is, uh, this particular one is made by Jacquard and what you do with this stuff is you brush it onto your fabric and then you let it completely dry and when you're finished letting it dry you steam it with an iron and the color or the dye that's in the fabric dissipates or discharges from the fabric. So uh, I wanted to try this stuff. Um, a lot of my friends had been using it with either stencils or screens that for screen printing and I thought I want to try this in sort of a freehand painting and see what happens to the fabric when I actually discharge the color out of the fabric. Now, a couple of things about this stuff. You want to use this in a well-ventilated area. This stuff stinks. It really smells. It smells so bad. In, in fact, um, it smells bad when you are painting with it and it smells even worse when you're steaming with it. So again, uh, open the windows, use your respirator, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you protect yourself when using this product. So uh, this is the quilt that I did with the project and you can see I painted my octopus. Now I did this on a blue fabric but if you do this on a black fabric you're going to get different colors out of the discharge. Um, I thought it was pretty interesting that on blue I sort of got it like a gold sort of a golden brown discharge color. Um, it didn't completely discharge it to white, although it can do that. Um, so again, I painted my little octopus, then I discharged it by uh, letting it completely dry, steamed it with my iron, and then quilted it as a whole cloth quilt. So I really enjoyed doing this. It was a lot of fun, but again, it really does kind of stink. Um, stinks up your house. So. Uh, give this one a try and be sure to follow along on my blog at www.muppin.com. You can also subscribe to this channel and get a copy of the uh, of our videos in every single week in your newsfeed. And you can also subscribe to my newsletter and get a copy of the entire 52 week uh, Technique of the Week checklist so you can follow along with us at home. So thanks again and I will see you again next week.